Hi and welcome back to my channel. Let's see how we can update entities in Entity Framework in a more optimized way. First, let me explain what's the problem. So I have a book here and this book has three editable fields. And also I have another field called time created. This should not change with edits and updates. It should only be yeah, inserted the first time that we are adding this route to the database table. Right now, I am using DB context update method to update the new data, and let's see how it works. Here, I update this to 93, and let's change it to Harry Potter 1 and submit. So we have the new data here, but the problem is at the same time, we get a change in time created, even though it didn't ask for this. So let's see in logs, what do we have here? When we are updating data, as logs says, we are setting description name published here and also time created, even though our form only consisted of three fields but the field of time created gets cut up in the middle and gets updated so how we can solve this problem in order to solve the problem we can use the entity that is being returned from update method and in entity we can access to properties and in property we can go for the property that we don't want to change so I go for b d dot time created and I set is modified to false and now I come back here and set the date to 10 10 2019 and update everything here let's refresh and go for edit and let's change it back to the correct values and submit and here we have the new data and also let's go back here and refresh as you can see this time the time created property has not changed but we get the updates for name and published here I'm sure it will, it will work the same for description. So we can ask Entity Framework to ignore one or more properties when it is updating the entity. Also, let's see what has happened in logs. Up here, you can see that the update method only consists of um, description field and published year and that's its name, published year, and description. And uh, you don't see the time created here. So it is always possible to use SQL Server for updating one or two properties in a large table. But to do the same with Entity Framework, you need to do some work as I explained here. And uh, you can use Entity and use um, states to manage the update values so that's it for today thanks for watching see you soon